Jamie Carragher faces a nervous wait to discover whether or not he will lose his job at Sky after being caught up in a spitting storm. Footage obtained by The Mirror shows the pundit winding down his window and spitting at a Man United fan that was goading him, only for it to hit his 14-year-old daughter. The former Liverpool defender has since apologised but a spokesperson for Sky has said, it's unacceptable behaviour and we will be addressing it with Jamie. In general life, spitting is regarded as the lowest of the low. And in football, it also carries a severe punishment. That much could be seen back in March 2015, when Johnny Evans and Papasis were found guilty of spitting at each other during a clash between Manchester United and Newcastle at St James Park. The FA punished them heavily, handing them six and seven match bans respectively. Interestingly, Kara wrote a column after the bans were dished out, and although he called spitting vile, he suggested that spitting wasn't as bad as a nasty tackle. As usual, there have been people who have said, it is the worst thing that can happen on a pitch. It is vile, but let me assure you, I'd have preferred Lucas Neal to have spat the day he broke my leg in September 2003. Carrier wrote. He went on to claim that the bans for Evans and Sis were a little excessive when compared to an over-the-top tackle that would only get three games. As well as an apology on Twitter, Carrier spoke to the Mirror in an attempt to explain exactly what happened. It was a bit more than he and Jamie, it was 2-1. It went on for two or three times, Carrier said. I drove away at first, and it just continued. I lost my head. I shouldn't have done it, but I was thinking, what is a grown man doing, carrying on like that two or three times with his daughter in the car, 